Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. You're listening to Two Ships Tarot. And this will be the general weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the week of May 16th through to the 22nd. I hope you're all doing well. And at this time, I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up, subscribed, or left a comment. Thank you very much. It is greatly appreciated. Sagittarius, let's see what's in store for you this week. And your first card out is Justice. So some sort of court, perhaps. This usually refers to a court case or divorce settlement or some sort of legal matter. It'll settle some sort of old accounts or debts. And the Knight of Cups. Maybe you're thinking of taking a, a trip somewhere. Or somebody's taking a trip to come and see you. And that usually is by boat. And sometimes a smile is the best thing you can give somebody some days when they're feeling down and out. And the Three of Swords. So feeling some sort of betrayal. Somebody's hurt you very badly. That could be to do with this Justice card here. Somebody's finally going to listen to you. To your side of it. And realize. You know, whether it's done to you or you're doing it to somebody else. But somebody always gets hurt. It's not a nice feeling. Leaves many scars. And the Queen of Pentacles. So an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now this could be your other half. Parent, grandparent, sister, friend. Somebody who's very knowledgeable. Somebody knows how to uh, you know, take care of their bank accounts. Try to uh, save for a rainy day. Knows how to um, find really good deals. So you're just talking to this person, getting some sort of answers or clarity. Maybe you're thinking of starting a new business of some sort. And you're just talking it over with them. And the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah. Usually that's some sort of trip, and uh, but he likes to take trips to just take like bike rides or walks along the beach or in the woods. So ask yourself what qualities do you most appreciate in yourself? Hmm. And the Wheel of Fortune. So things are definitely changing. You know, this one is a good one because it's, you've hit the lottery, as they say in the tarot cards, you know, uh, you could be paying off some debts, quite happy with yourself, could mean money, love, a big break in, a big break in your career. You know, things are changing in your direction, which is wonderful. You know, nothing happens for no reason. Things happen for a good reason. 
They're not always make you happy, but I think in this case it's going to make you quite happy. Things are looking up. Oh yes, and the Ten of Cups. Oh, there it is. Blissful, happy home. You know, you're happy, content with what you have and what you've accomplished, and you should. You know, you have a bright future ahead of you here. I don't think you're going to have to worry too much longer. And the Five of Pentacles. Just remember, if you're asking people for advice and they offer it to you and you don't take it, that's kind of silly. Because if you're asking for advice and they're giving you good advice and you don't listen, people get tired after a while of trying to help you. And the strength card. So you, you have the strength and the determination to, you know, make this situation work out in your favor. You know, just learn to control yourself and the rest will follow. Don't be impulsive or wild about your decisions in life. Think them through and uh, avoid people, places and things that bring out the worst in you. That sort of stuff you need to just cut loose. And the King of Rods. So a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So this could be yourself or somebody else you know. Motivation, takes charge. Decisive, quick moving. Don't get carried away. <laughs> you know, to the point that, you know, you lose touch of what's going on around you. It's always nice to dream, but do be careful. And then next is your Eight of Pentacles. So hard at work, learning a craft. Maybe you're taking some sort of course or want to. Or this could be related to your job as well. Maybe you're moving up the ladder in, the, in your positions. Yep. And the temptress. So you're mixing two elements together, making things balance and work, which is wonderful. You know, sometimes that just works out for the better when you mix two things together because it's amazing what people think won't work, but turns out in the end it works the best. So. Got to accept people as they are, or just let them go. Compromise is always the bottom line. But never compromise on your integrity. And the sun. So everything's coming your way. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Renewed health, luck, uh, movements, uh, all things moving in your direction for the good, which is wonderful. Things are brightening up, positive outlook. You're feeling a little lighter. Ah, and the lovers. So this could be, you know... You need to commit to something, whether it's a person or a career or a passion that speaks to your heart and follow, have a follow through with it. And the Eight of Cups. So yeah, you, uh, you've been hired at work at something for a while. You put a lot of effort and energy and heart into something. And you're wondering now, do I just put more in it? Is it ever going to just be enough? Or do I just stop, cut it loose, and move on? So you're going to make, you got a lot of decisions making going on in your head right this time. You know, sometimes we just have to say enough is enough and cut our ties and whatever it happens to be and 
move move forward can't keep dragging things behind and the hermit so yeah you're feeling empty you know you're just not sure which way to go so just maybe take a time out if you can if it's possible even just go to your room and watch tv and not have any any put input going on other than what's on the tv and try to relax if you can't you know get away from where you are just time out for yourself to give yourself time to uh, clear your head see which way you should make this move you know it's a quite a quite a decision to give up everything you've put so much effort into and it just doesn't seem to be ever ending and it becomes a burden after a while when that happens it loses its lust for pleasure and I think that's what you're going through right now all right Sagittarius I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card and see what the guides have to say for you if there's any sort of help or clarity in here that you know whether you're making the right decision or maybe to rethink I mean it's going to turn out wonderful it's just said that you had to come to that conclusion that you have to make a decision to let things go that's a definitely difficult thing to do have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet wow I like that one sorry it's not focusing very well but that sort of goes along with what a, what the reading saying that you know there's something that you're definitely going to have to make a decision on and move forward and it's uh and only you can make that decision at the end of the day. All right, Sagittarius. Thank you. And I will talk to you again next week. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.